Hey preschool friends! We have been outside in this beautiful sunny, sunny weather and we've been talking about numbers and over here we had just counted um, different stones counting up to 10 and you guys did a great job at that. I think right now we're going to do a little bit of patterning and then we will do a little bit of um, addition and subtraction. So again, I've got some gardening stones. These are things that you can put into your landscaping. And I had a very long stick and I broke the stick up into 10 little pieces. So I am going to make um, a circle. And let's do a little bit of patterning together. So an AB pattern, remember what we say an AB pattern is? AB pattern is two different objects and we repeat them. Let's, I guess let's just do it together. So we do a stone and we do a stick. And we do a stone and we do a stick. What comes next? That's right, a stone and then a stick and then a stick am i right oh no you're right I'm not right we do a stone and then we add a stick this is our a b pattern a b a b a b a b stone stick stone stick stone stick stone stick okay let's try um an a b Try an A B B pattern. Ooh, what is that going to look like? We've done these before too. So let's do an A B B pattern. So let's do a stone and then a stick, and then we re we repeat that same um, pattern. A B A B B stone stick stick stone stick. Stick. And let's try one more. Stone. We do a stick. And then would we add a stone? No, you're right. We wouldn't add a stone. We would add a stick. This is our A, B, B pattern. Stone, stick, stick. Stone, stick, stick. Stone, stick, stick. I love that we can use some outdoor um, things that we find. You could even use acorns or you could use pine cones. Um, but for now, I'm using some sticks and some stones. So let's try one more patterning, friends, and then we'll do a little bit of um, addition and subtraction problems. So let's try um, an A, A, B pattern. So an A, A, B pattern, that would be two of one object and one of another. So let's do stick, stick, stone. Stick, stick, stone. What would come next? Did you say a stick? You are right. Stick, stick, stone. That is an A, A, B pattern. Stick, stick, stone. Stick, stick, stone. Stick, stick, stone. Fantastic. Let's make another circle and we are going to do some addition problems and maybe a few subtraction problems. I know you guys like to do this. So I'm gonna make two circles and we're gonna add and then this is where our answer is going to go. You could do this at home, or you could even um, do this outside as well as inside on a piece of paper. So let's make, uh, let me sit down here. Let's make something simple. Let's say one plus, let's say four. What is that going to equal? Well, let's see. Here's one object plus four sticks. One, two, three, four. So we say one plus four. One, two, three, four. Let's count them all together to get our number down here. One plus four, two, three, four, five. 
1 plus 4 equals 5. And we know this because if we put it together, we can move them down if we would like. When we count them all together, it equals a number 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Great job. Let's try another one. I'm going to move everything over. Let's, let's get a little trickier. Let's say, oh, let's make my circle. I'm going to do another adding problem. I'm going to say equals. Um, let's say six. Ooh, this is going to get tricky. Plus three equals what? Well, if we didn't know, and we, if we didn't have things that we could count, we could always use little dots. We could do that. But since we have sticks and stones, let's go ahead and use those. So let's say, um, let's do six stones. Let's count together. Move this. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six plus three. Let's go ahead and let's use three sticks. One, two, three. And then in order to get what it equals, we have to count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus three, seven, eight, nine. So six plus three equals nine. And if we wanted to, we can put them all together and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six plus three equals nine. Great job. So if we flip these around and we said nine take away three, I wonder what that would equal. Let's go ahead and let's do that together. Let's make another um, couple circles here and we'll do one subtraction problem together using this one here. So I'm going to make three more circles. One, two, three. So I'm going to take my nine, and I'm going to say minus or take away three. We already know what equals, but let's, let's put these out together. So I'm going to have nine. Let's do nine rocks. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're going to take three of them away. So we're going to, from this nine, we're going to take three of them away. One, two, three. What do we have left, friends? Let's go ahead and count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nine, take away three stones equals six. So we kind of tried to do a couple different things today. So we did some patterning, we did a few little addition problems, and we did one subtraction problem. These are things that you can do um, outside with some chalk and you can do some little um, outside objects that you find or we can even do these inside um, on a piece of paper. You could draw the circles and you could use Cheerios or you could use again little marbles um, or little Skittles, marshmallows, different things that we've used in classroom as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this friends. You did a great job.